At this point, it's pretty safe to say that social media has become a major part of our mainstream culture. Right now, the average user on Facebook spends about 50 minutes per day on the website. But at the same time, studies are coming out that say the more time you spend on Facebook and other social media applications, the more likely you are to be depressed and have a lower satisfaction with your life overall. So what's going on here? Let's talk about it. Break the Twitch. I don't really believe that social media is either a good thing or a bad thing. I just believe it's a tool. Just like a hammer, you can use a hammer to create something amazing, or you can hit someone over the head with it. The hammer itself isn't good or evil, it's really just what you do with it. In my own experience, the desire to pull out my smartphone, check social media, refresh the Twitter feed, and do that on a regular basis really was a negative thing in my life. In fact, it was a major contributing idea to the concept of break the twitch. That feeling you get when you're kind of bored and you just want to check the refrigerator. It's like checking the refrigerator even though you know there's nothing new in there. So this idea really came out of a negative experience for me. But it's hard for me to say that social media as a whole is a bad thing. Social media has had a profoundly positive effect on my life as well. A few years ago, I went to a friend's wedding and I had only met one other person at the entire wedding in person before, so it was largely people that I didn't know. Except I already knew about 30% of the people there because we had had conversations on Twitter. It was amazing to just kind of be able to pick up that conversation and get into it in person and really deepen the connection with them. So there are tons of experiences like that where I've connected with people and had really meaningful relationships with them because of social media and it happening there in the first place. So because social media is simply a tool, one that in fact has had a profoundly positive and negative effect on my life, it really does come down to how we use it and how we allow that tool into our lives. And to that effect, I think ever since social media has become boomingly popular and one of the main media sources in our lives, we've really started using it wrong. Online social media was designed to be a supplement. Sure, it might make you feel good for a while, but it was never intended to replace actually doing the work. It's just not that effective by itself. In addition to that, social media is designed to be incredibly addicting. It's made to make us feel like we're quickly achieving those meaningful connections that we really want, but they're just quick fixes. We're not actually doing the work when we're just scrolling through social media feeds, double tapping on pictures. So there are some things that you can do if you feel like you need to make a change in this area. The first thing you can do is break the twitch of social media by literally taking a break. It can be seven days or it can be 30 days, but although it's difficult at first, you will see how much social media influences your daily life when you use it regularly. I highly recommend taking a break and then making some decisions about how you want it to be a part of your life. The second thing you can do is prioritize one-on-one -on -one, two way communication. Realize that double tapping a photo and leaving a like is great, but it's not going to provide the kind of meaningful dialogue that you really need in life. So reach out to someone one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's via a phone call or Skype, or just a text message exchange. Take it offline, make it private, and have the kind of conversations that you want to have. Finally, if you're hanging out with someone or you're with a group of friends, just put your phone away. And I'm not talking about putting it on the table, even face down. That's basically like saying, yeah, I'm really interested in what you have to say, but just until something more interesting happens here, which I'm sort of waiting for. Really, the most valuable thing you can give someone these days is your full attention. Think about how rare that is in our modern culture. So be present, enjoy the people that you're around and engage in the kind of discussion that is going to be meaningful and create meaningful relationships for the rest of your life.